Hello everyone, today I will be reviewing Ben-Hur. So Ben-Hur came out in 1959 and was directed by William Wyler and starred Charlton Heston in the title role. So the original story was actually called Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ and it was a book written by Lou Wallace and released in 1880. There was then a 1925 silent film which was released and then there was this film released in 1959, which is sort of seen as a remake of the 1925 film, although this film, obviously being released in 1959, was in colour and had sound. So it's obviously a very different presentation to that 1925 version. But anyway, onto this film, we see Charlton Heston play Judah Ben-Hur, and Judah Ben-Hur is one of the most well-respected Jewish citizens of Jerusalem. And at the start of this film, we see these Roman soldiers come into the city um, in order to conquer the world because the Roman Empire wanted to conquer Israel and saw it as a very important part of the Roman crown. Now we get introduced to Stephen Boyd's character. Stephen Boyd plays a character called Masala and he's a Roman and he's a childhood friend of Judah Ben-Hur. What we see is a bit of a reunion between Judah Ben-Hur and Masala, who are childhood friends, and then meet up with each other again. But it turns out that because obviously Judah Ben-Hur is a Jew and Masala is a Roman, there's a bit of conflict and Masala wants Ben-Hur to give up Israel and Jerusalem so that the Romans can essentially conquer it. But Judah Ben-Hur doesn't want to do this, so... They get into a bit of a conflict. Masala sells Ben-Hur into slavery. And then we see all sorts of events spiral and all sorts of interesting things happen and go on to the overall plot of this film. So I want to start off by saying that this is a really good historical epic film. It had a massive budget, um, the biggest budget of any Hollywood film at the time. And it's probably one of Hollywood's best ever epics. There's probably not many of the big Hollywood epics which are better than this except perhaps Lawrence of Arabia but this as a Hollywood epic film you really cannot do much better than this and it's mainly because of the scenes in this film we get so many good scenes one of my favorite scenes is the scene when the slaves are on the ship and they're rowing the ship they're down below and we get um, Jack Hawkins character who is in charge telling them to row fast and faster and Judah Ben-Hur just looking into Jack Hawkins eyes basically signaling to him that he can't be defeated, he's not going to stop, he's going to keep on going. And when Jack Hawkins tells them all to stop, Ben Hur barely looks tired, he's still standing up straight while everyone else is exhausted. By all means, the most iconic and the best scene in this film is the chariot race. This scene is absolutely incredible and this is, you know, 60 years after this film was released, it still looks really amazing. Obviously being released in 1959, there was no computer generated imagery. Everything you see in this scene was absolutely real and looks exactly as it was filmed. It really is an incredible set piece. They had so many extras for this film, especially for the chariot race scene. Everything looks amazing in the scene um, in terms of the horses racing around the track. And it was actually Charlton Heston and Stephen Boyd, they do... They did act in pretty much every part of this chariot race, except for one or two scenes when when one of the characters flips over. That was when the stuntman was used. But actually, most of the time, it really was Charlton Heston, Stephen Boyd, which is very impressive. And this film did extremely well at the Oscars. It won 11 Oscars in total, which was a record at the time. And it wasn't actually beaten until 1997 when Titanic came out. And then again in 2003 with Lord of the Rings The Return of the King. Now I know they did also do a remake of this film which came out in 2016 which I haven't seen but I've heard that it it wasn't very well received critically or commercially I don't think it did that well at the box office either but to, um, I look at this film and I really don't think that it needs a remake although it came out 60 years ago which is obviously a long time ago so you might think that you know, not having watched this, you might think, well, they can probably clean it up a bit and make it look better. But after watching this, I'd probably say, no, I don't really think it needs to be improved. I think it's incredible even now. It's still a very watchable film. Everything 
looks fantastic. It really is a very good looking film. Obviously being an epic film, this is incredibly long. The total running time is roughly 3 hours 40 minutes and that's including the overture at the start and the intermission halfway through. There are a few bits in this film which maybe do drag on a little bit, particularly at the two hour mark I would say. There might be a few little bits which go on a little bit too long and once once you've had a good action scene and something exciting happened, you're sort of waiting for the next action scene to happen again. But I, um, I would say it's worth it as a whole story. You have to appreciate it actually once you finish watching it and looking back on it. You really appreciate what an amazing film this is and what a, what an amazing piece of cinema and what an amazing technical achievement this was. William Wyler, the director, he, he actually was filming for about 16 hours a day for six days a week for nine months or something like that. It was absolutely crazy, the filming schedule of this film. And you can certainly see why. I believe it definitely has paid off and it's and it's now recognized as one of Hollywood's best epics of all time. Um, in fact, the American Film Institute named it number two on the greatest epic films of all time after Lawrence of Arabia at number one. And I can certainly see why Lawrence of Arabia is an amazing film and as an epic film I would say this is probably almost as good. One thing that modern audiences might notice about this film is that the acting is very over the top, it's very theatrical, but that's what I like about these kind of films. That's what you want from an epic historical film. You want the characters to have emotional depth when they talk. You want the characters to really almost shout at the screen and voice their opinions. And this is what exactly what they do. There's fantastic interactions between Charlton Heston and Stephen Boyd here. And a lot of the other acting is very good as well. We get these characters. They really have real, real emotion when they speak, real force in their voices. And it just comes across so well on screen because of the epicness and the grand scale of this film. This is what it's all about. This is what you want these characters to do. The first time I saw this film was about 2008 or 2009. I had it on DVD and I absolutely loved it. And I was actually lucky enough to go to the O2 Arena in London to see a live performance of this. And I remember the chariot race was also very impressive as well. So I do have a bit of a personal relationship but with this film, to be honest. I do really enjoy it and I do think it's a fantastic story and a fantastic film. And it's possibly one of my favourite films of all time. So I actually have to give Ben-Hur a rating of 10 out of 10. I think it's a fantastic epic film. And if you can stand the 3 hour, 40 minutes running time, then it's definitely worth a watch. Might be best to watch it in two or three sessions because it is a long film obviously but then again that is the whole idea this is an epic hollywood film and as epic films go this is definitely one of the best so there we go so that is ben hur so what do you guys think have you seen ben hur do you like it do you dislike it please let me know down in the comments anyway thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care